Hey -o everybody, Haku here with my live reaction and read through for Chainsaw Man chapter 65 through I think 70. And the reason I have an actual number is last week somebody said, hey, you should do all of volume 9 in one video. And so I'll keep you updated with the community tab and everything I usually do. I might have to even, I doubt I'll have to take any weeks off because of that. But we have six chapters left in chapter 8. And then I'm going to try to do all of that this video. All of chapter 8, finish it out this video. Then next video, even if it's long, I'm going to try to do all of volume 9 in one video. Then depending on how long they are, we will attempt it. I will, I think volume 11 is the last part of part 1. I will maybe also try to do all of volume 10 and all of volume 11 in one video each. So for the next three weeks after this, you might be getting one volume per video. But again, we'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to see how it, if, like, it could be crazy long, but maybe. I will try it. So let's start with chapter 65. Let's read volume 8. Last, last read-through was incredible. It felt like the series just elevated itself to the next level. So let's, uh, let's go see what we got. You're gonna kill Makima? And we see everyone with their arms missing. And he holds up the doll devil. Not where I expected his arm arm to come from. And then the head is removed. We have a seal being made by one of the members. And then he grips onto, is that the stone devil itself? The stone devil, both it and the guy summoning it crumble. Beam looks over at Denji. Kobani, take off my mask and hide. Oh shit. What? Lord Chainsaw. Beam drips his blood to Denji and pulls on the ripcord. Please revive and grant our wish. And then Beam gets torn apart. Power is still frozen, so are the other fiends. And it's interesting how the fiends are so terrified, because, like, they know they have this instinct, but the humans are trying to make moves. Other than Beam, who is, of course, like, super loyal to Denji. And then the other guy with the mark on his forehead and Chuan Chi both try to make a move. And get torn to shreds. Oh, along with the fiends and power. Okay. And again, because we don't know how hell works or how the darkness devil works, it's like we don't know if any of this is survivable. If any of the- we have to assume they get their limbs back or just everybody has now lost their arms. Alright, and then Violence Fiend's mask is gone. He starts yelling, we see his face. Oh, and he like, hooks up. Interesting writing. There's, pro there's probably some cool, like, meaning to any of this but it says something and then he's just completely shredded and then Denji rushes in yelling <laughs> sorry this probably shouldn't be funny to me but it's hilarious the fucking <laughs> the fucking soy faces in the darkness pointing as <laughs> you do the chainsaw. It's so funny. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> that probably shouldn't be so funny to me. Oh, God, that's funny. I have power on the ground. I keep looking on. He thinks about Himeno. I... Not again, I... And then again, the dark, the darkness devil's doing things. He does something again. And Denji's body scrunches up, 
this almost feels similar to Makima. Violence rushes in again, creating another fist from his mouth, which is fitting for violence. But he gets impaled on a sword. Ah, and the bells ring, and he's torn apart. And then darkness is just hovering over Aki. <laughs> the scrunched pochta at the end of the chapter. Oh man, what a chapter. Darkness Devil's so cool. This hell stuff is so cool. No idea what's going on, how it relates to darkness, how it makes any sense, but I feel like the mystery is a part of that fear, so it kind of works. Uh, everybody's getting demolished. It's so cool, but it's also so fun, and that's, uh, that's kind of Chainsaw Man's thing. It presents you with these with these situations, but it manages to have fun with them and go kind of like crazy action movie about them a lot of the time. So uh, it's very fun. Let's see what happens in the next one. And the next is entitled Wolf. We see blood raining down from violence. Angel looking on as he stares at Aki. And then Angel starts bleeding too and falls over. Aki starts bleeding, collapses, all the hands reach out towards him, and then Spider Devil pops out of the ground and attacks in the upskirt. Hmm? Ma'am, I'm kind of interested. She grabs onto Darkness. We have the frog again with Ribbit written on him, and all of Spider's limbs are taken. And again, it just feels like they've got to, like, return. Because, like, they've got to return, or else, like, all of our characters are now limbless. We still don't really know exactly what Darkness is after. If Darkness is contracted to kill Makima, then Darkness might actually want them on its side. But the fact that Spider is here means either Spider was killed in the real world and sent here, or Spider was kind of like Beam, I guess. They did send Beam and stuff to where Denji is. You know, they were sent there and then got caught up in the building because you had to be in the building to get sent here. She falls over. Damn, Darkness Devil. Bidding me to come and save them, aren't you? And the Makimas, where all the puppets are. And I also think last time, something that I didn't quite get, I've been saying that the Master is the Master, but the Master, I don't know if Santa Claus is a title that passes on. I don't know if the old man was originally Santa Claus, or if the Master was Santa Claus all along, because the way she said, oh, this is how you make a real puppet or whatever, it seems like she was using him as a puppet to accept the message, and it's like, okay, so she's using the old man as the puppet to accept the message, much like she took over Tolka as a puppet. And she makes them look real instead of the, like, you know, very obvious ones. And if that's the case... So it makes me wonder, was he the original Santa Claus and she was one of the children and she got groomed into the next one? Or was she just Santa Claus all along and the old man was never really just anything other than a puppet? Lady Makima, you must not come, says Spider. Princhy, call me, as you wish. And she splits apart. She unzips, which is odd. There's a lot of odd stuff going and Makima comes out. So, I guess they can just, like, portal to hell. <laughs> this part of, again, this is very cool direction-wise. Chainsaw Man just has gorgeous, like, direction. The shots are just so artistic. So much more than almost any other manga I read by, like, a long margin. <laughs> but it's also just so funny. And then darkness starts bleeding but her finger crumbles and then darkness starts fading into the ground we have doll's head cut off still 
or Tolka doll. I don't know. Did doll embody Tolka? So is he doll now? But we have his head cut off. And then more of her fingers break. Her arm as well. The sword is summoned by darkness. Hell devil. I offer all of you to myself, says Tolka's head. So please, send us back. And the sword stabs through Makima. And then we have the hand just coming in out of nowhere. So Hell Devil arguably has to be the strongest devil. Arguably. Because it's Hell itself, and it's kind of like breaking the meta with the way it reaches into the panels and everything. Plus, Hell is probably one of the scariest concepts for humanity. And also, Hell has six fingers, probably like, you know, a 666 type, type of thing. Okay. And everyone's sent back, sorry, along with, along with their arms. We have the pile of puppets still. Hehehehe. <laughs> I see, that's how it works. So this is the power of darkness. It's magnificent. And we see... Ma'am! Mm. I don't know how interested I am. I'll come to understand all of it. Or was she the doll devil all along, just speaking through, uh, Tolka? Hmm. But then, she leaps up and lands on the roof. <laughs> you know, if the legs were like the arms, I'd be interested. But <laughs> the legs being head is just so goofy. How nice to meet you, Makima. Hello, Santa Claus. And she's giving her blood to Denji. The enemy absorbed a piece of darkness's flesh. No attacks in the darkness will work. Makima, your dream ends here. Denji, will you save me? And his chainsaw erupts. Woof. And so, hmm... Again, what is Makima's dream? Is her... Because here's the thing. Her dream could be a bad thing. And these people could actually be good in some way. Then again, like, the master of Santa Claus, whatever, was like sacrificing children. You know? So, the dream could be a bad thing. But people are doing bad things to try to stop it. Or, the dream could be a good thing. But Makima's doing bad things to try to achieve it. Or both. Could be a little both. A little bit of both. And that's where we end. With uh, just, you know, a determined poached up there at the end. Alright. Well, that sure was something. And also I forgot to change the chapter number on screen, didn't I? This was 66 the whole time. Whoops. My bad. You know, I'm surprised that doesn't happen more often. But let's go to 67. Yeah, now I feel kind of bad. My bad, everyone. Sorry about that. 67 time, and we have a frontispiece of Santa Claus with the dolls. Chapter 67, The First Devil Hunter. And we've got Octopus fighting the doll still. Looks like Miss Makima's o er, objective isn't to protect Denji after all. For a security detail, it was too many cons- And again- People like Kishibe also want to kill Makima. Ah, so suspicious. And the deal is to bring Chainsaw in order to make a deal with Darkness to get Darkness's flesh to try to, to try to take down Makima. And how does the Gun Devil play into all of this? So interesting. Um, for a security detail, it was too many conspicuous people. Plus, the guys she requested for the team are all third-rate hunters, including me. If you're third-rate, that makes me fourth-rate. Even a first-rate hunter can't beat aging. Miss Makima and Santa are both making moves for some objective that we don't know about. Not that it matters to me as long as I get paid. You're absolutely sure Makima isn't listening to this conversation? It's safe. I had octopus check. There are no rats, birds, or anything nearby. Makima borrows the hearing of lower forms of life. Right? Be careful about sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, kid. Oh, I don't have time to do that. I have finals coming up. Oh yeah, you're still in high school, aren't ya? Uh, are you an idiot? And he brings out a cigarette. Then, 
Chainsaw Man, uh, or Denji, rather, take some of the arms off of Santa Claus. Are powering them okay? You're gonna get it for sending us to hell. She forms the other arms together for Super Punch! And actually, yeah, wow, Super Punches him. Wow, magnificent. Look at me. My wounds healed instantly in the darkness. This body was half a year from death, yet it regenerates splendidly now. Less talking, more fighting, and he rushes in again. But all the puppets mob him. Yeah, oh crap. And we have one of the fiends holding on to Chuan, er, Chuan Chi's head. And looking at the other two laying in blood. She opens or pulls off her eye patch and reaches into her eye. And pulls out. So was I... Okay, I didn't know it was going to be Chuan Chi. I didn't know who it was going to be. I guess it should be obvious it's not Santa Claus now, now that we've seen that she's doing this doll stuff. The person on the cover, then, is Chuan Chi, then, because of the thing she pulls out. It looks like the thing on the cover that I have on screen. But I guess that's... I had some guesses. I said arrow, maybe. It looks more like an arrow here now because of the fletching. But then again, how scared are people like arrows can kill you? I think people would be somewhat scared but to me i feel like most people aren't that scared of arrows certainly way less scared than guns or chainsaws uh but yeah and then yeah and then she drops chuan chi's head into the pile ow 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 and then we start seeing all of them get taken out as she transforms into again i guess maybe the arrow devil chain er who are you chainsaw man give me a hand until i kill that damn devil that bastard killed my women okay so are those two like actually dead and we have all of these puppets i figured fiends might be all right <clears throat> the dolls are powered up looks like it's pointless to take them out without killing the master doll Either that, or cut them up like a blender. They won't get back up from that. Alright, watch my back. Well, you're gone? And then, we have all the arrows flying in and tearing apart Santa Claus. I didn't anticipate you joining us. It's an honor to meet the human who was known as the first Devil Hunter. And then, torn apart again. That tickles. I see. I can spread my sense of pain across the other dolls, too. Now, how to hunt an invisible hunter? As for little Chainsaw, can you see, er, can you kill these dolls? Yikes. And then, huh? M my arms? My arms? What's happened to me? And she's restoring some of the humanity to the dolls. No, that's a devil. Huh? I can't move my legs. What the? For real? Come on, is this that super e- er, is th this is that move that super evil villains use. And then, we finish things out there with, uh, Pochita carrying an arrow. Alright, we still have, what, three more to go? So, you know, can't spend too much time. I think Chuan Chi is really cool. Santa Claus is really cool. Interested to see how this goes. You know what's weird? The same goes for the Reze arc. I feel like the actual fighting is maybe the least compelling part of Chainsaw Man. Not to say that it's not good, it's very fun, it's very enjoyable to read, but it feels like the the fighting, compared to the character stuff, compared to the lore or world-building-ish stuff, it kind of feels like the fighting is the part that gets me the least excited compared to how exciting all of this other stuff is. So let's continue. 68 starts with the people screaming as they rush into Denji. Seriously? Can a devil hunter kill these dolls? Or can, can a devil hunter kill these dolls? Nope, 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 no way, and he's just running away. Chapter 68, Dark Power. I don't want to be a murderer. And he starts using his chainsaws to wall run. And then they also use blades on their feet to follow him. God damn. It. And he starts to actually have to fight back. Murderer. Ha! Ah, 
And they all start charging into him. D Devil, what's happening to me? And then they start getting torn apart. And we have Chon Chi back to help. The dolls are only imitating humans. Kill them. Don't hesitate. But how do you know that? If you understand it that way, can you kill er if you understand it that way, you can kill them, can't you? Ignorance is bliss, Chainsaw. And then the uh, Santa Claus grabs her. Huh? I finally caught you. Sure you did. She gets blown apart again. Not good. Night's coming. Wow. Yeah, I guess somebody with darkness powers would be insane at night. So this is the power of darkness. Again, if, if, if the legs were different, if the legs were different, I'd be all in. Is it just me or did you get even creepier? And she vanishes. Wow. It's crazy how instant all of this was. Okay, so you're just taking it in. And they're at a gas station. Ow, crappity crap. While you were killing me. I took the liberty of creating a few more dolls. Oh, and it's the two fiends from before. Holding the uh, third fiend captive. So yeah, I guess those two are just down. I guess they're just dead. And I guess maybe the others are just missing their arms. Unless, you know, they do have people with all kinds of crazy powers. Maybe somebody has powers they can put them back on. This crap again. And then they actually stab through her and she hugs them. Now, can she be made into a doll? Denji covers himself in gasoline and sparks it. This is the power of light. And he just charges in, grabbing onto her, chainsawing while on fire. Brilliant, genius, flaming poached at the end. The smartest shounen main character. Such a genius. Brilliant. Nobel Prize, Nobel Prize imminent. Uh, let's go, let's go to... Chapter 69. All right, chapter 69, the ultimate true make or break for any series. And then hot, 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 hot. Chapter 69, shining power. And she pushes him away. Even after deepening my wisdom with the power of darkness. I guess <laughs> Kingdom Hearts ass line. I can't comprehend the behavior of fools. Hot. Hey, I ain't no fool. I watch educational TV every day. Huh? And he has sent one of his uh, chains to her to wrap around his chain. Hot. Yeah, that's hot. And he pulls himself in again. This is futile. I can distribute my pain. God. I don't know. Your regeneration is slowing down because of light power. She pushes him off again. Again, if not for the legs, I'd be in. Then, you know, more of this fighting with the dolls coming in to attack. A fitting death for a dog who ignorantly wags his tail for Makima. Now stay still and burn. Alright. I can regenerate too with light power. So you drank my dolls' blood, pesky boy. And they kick him away then. She points, and they all start attacking. All the pointing, this read-through. Will you please hurry up and die? I'll let you see Makima soon enough. And then she's getting pulled in. What? He's pulling me towards him. Monster. I can't understand him. Keep him away from me. And they're tug-of-warring. Die already, and a car comes in to crash into him and explode. Heave ho, heave ho, and he's still pulling. God, I don't understand. Why don't you die? Scary. It's cool you're all working together to kill me, because Sharon is Karen, but you know, if Makima dies, 
I don't get to go on my trip with her. Well, and again, it's it's so sad because Denji's our main character, but it's hard to root for him too much because he is just mindlessly working for Makima, who is incredibly sketchy. And he, this is a really, really good two-page spread. Tears apart Santa Claus. What? This is my shining power. He throws the car down. Ah, and they explode again. <laughs> we have an even crispier Pochta at the end. All right. Some of these chapters have been really quick because they're all fighting. But, <laughs> wow, this has been very fun. Let's, I guess, finish out at 70. I think 70 is the end of the volume. Let's, uh, let's see what we, let's see what we're in for. Okay, it's the grand finale, chapter 70. Let's see what we get. And then we start off with Denji carrying somebody. Chapter 70, Pinch. And he uses the blood to put the flames on himself out. <laughs> I understand your behavior patterns now. I have a contract with the doll devil, and my dolls are scattered, or scattered all over the world. With a mere touch, anyone can be made into a doll and become the assassin called Santa Claus. Okay, so again, this probably wasn't Santa Claus's first body or iteration. They probably spread them to a bunch. I expect we'll continue to evolve with the power of darkness and come to kill you again and again. If Santa Claus is coming to town, I hope he comes on a weekday, because I get Sundays off. <laughs> it isn't that you're fearless. You simply lack the intelligence to fully comprehend the implications. Every single day, be it your family, your friends, or complete strangers, anyone you meet could co or could turn into a doll and attack you. Can you imagine living or living your life constantly stalked by death? Go on, make me use my imagination. Dumb it down so even an immortal like me will understand. And then his head gets taken off by Chuan Chi. Truce is over. Halloween. Chuan Chi, I'll add you to my dolls one day too. Time to work. Cosmo. Halloween. It's your punishment for going sightseeing in Tokyo without us. Let her have a taste of an all-out Halloween. So this one's named Cosmo. It's crazy how the, um, the fiends all have such weird names. Halloween? Halloween! Ha lo ha lo -ween. And then she's just sent immediately to a library halloween <laughs> this such such an intelligent panel halloween i see this is inside your mind you intend to use some kind of psychological attack on me it's useless i'm afraid my mind is connected to dolls all over the world your attack will be meaningless as trying to dye the ocean with a single drop of blood are you even capable of comprehending that. She sits the book down. Good evening, Santa Claus. I am the Cosmos Fiend. Oh, there's no need to be so on guard. Hmm? I hold no personal resentment toward you for the deaths of my companions. To hunt and be hunted is the natural course of all lives. I have no emotions powerful enough to drive me to protest the course of nature. The phenomenon that is about to occur to you is also nothing more than, er, than that natural course. And what, and what pray tell is going to happen. You are about to acquire total understanding of everything in the universe. You currently fancy yourself to have understood everything through the power of darkness, correct? But everything, as you understand it, doesn't even fill one page of one book in this library. All of the contents of all the books in this library are about to flow into your mind. And this time, you will truly come to understand everything. What will happen to me then? Once you understand everything, you can only think of Halloween until you die. And then written by Cosmo, illustrated by Cosmo. Ha hollow, hollow, and then Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. And as she's burning, she just keeps repeating it. And then she looks over and sees Kishibe and the other guy. They both cover their eyes. And Makima strolls through. We surrender. She immediately drops her weapon. You can cut off all my limbs if you think I'll run. Just don't kill my women. 
I'll do anything to save their lives. Even lick your shoes. Halloween. A corpse is talking. Okay. Oh, and all three of their heads are removed. Again, because they aren't allowed to see her abilities. Like before with, um, Kurose and Tendo? Halloween, Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Oh, and the brother is infected by it too. All of the puppets are the ones connected to the puppets. As you can see, people who have lost their ability to speak, save for the word Halloween, have appeared all over the world. Is it the power of a devil? So yeah, all the dolls all over the world. Or perhaps a new kind of virus. Aren't you going to take off your blindfold? I don't want to see a thing. And that's where we end. And then we see all about Kishibe. First meeting. So, you're my new buddy, the great Chan Chi. Be my woman. I'll keep you safe. Nope. Month six. Will you go out with me? It's about time you gave in. I'll pass. Year one. If I survive this fight, will you date me and we see how we got a scar? Hell no. And then <laughs> she hits him each time, I think. Year three. Come on, comfort me. If that's a no, do me a favor and don't hit me. Don't be a baby. Year nine. I love you. I realized something recently. I I think I like women. I know. And that's where we're at. <laughs> what a fun ending. Okay. So yeah, there's the end of volume eight. We finished out the volume. And now it's time. Next time we go around, we'll go to volume nine and try to read it all in one go. Thank you so, so much for watching. I loved and enjoyed this. I'm kind of sad at all the characters we lost, all the characters we had to see die, because I liked some of them a lot and wanted to see more out of them. But we lost a lot of cool characters. We still have Makima around, who I'm A, not even that big a fan of, and B, is clearly, clearly sketchy. But now that this all is settled, and now that the doll devil isn't really even a threat, because that seemed like the big next threat because of what she was saying to Denji, now that all that's done, what even, like, what even is next? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, Chuan Chi might still survive because of the whole power that Denji has and everything, and they'll probably still capture her. Probably, maybe, who knows. Uh, maybe she's just not even worth capturing, maybe it's too dangerous. Yeah, I don't know where things go from here. That's exciting, having absolutely no clue. We have really just finished one part. So yeah. Okay, I guess that's I guess that's about all I got. I discussed as I went through, so thank you for watching. Like if you did like the video, comment down there, tell me what you thought of these chapters, my first thoughts and reaction. Subscribe for more Chainsaw Man, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server, it is free and open for anyone. Just ask and I can give you a link. If you would like to help support the channel, you can drop a super thanks down below. Or if you'd like to not only support the channel and help me keep making videos, but also get a shout out at the end of every video, get One Piece videos a bit early then uh, hit join down below to become a channel member. Go to patreon.com slash haku of the tubes or a link will be in the description. Either one works. Thank you so, so much again to people who are already patrons and channel members. Thank you to Chosen Regular, Evan Holly, Magical Girls, Evan Onu and Abyss Knight, Jared and Students, David Langstaff and Folded Ghoul, Slayer Candidates, SG and Stan Cedar, and Pure Element Patiardial. Thank you all so, so, so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.